Hey everyone, this is Prince from Work After Work. If you haven't seen my previous video on what is Trinial, you can probably check it out up in the upper right corner. And that was essentially a two minute pitch as to if you kind of boil down Trinial and everything it does into in like a few sentences, that was my take on what a software does. What you're about to see coming up is really a complete overview where I went ahead and put my credit card information into Trinial and requested a free trial to kind of get a better idea of how does software work, how does your user interfaces looks, so you guys can benefit from this and have a, be way more informed before you make a purchasing decision with this organization. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome to Trainual. I'm Chris, founder and CEO of the company, and I'm so excited that you're here to start systematizing and scaling your business like we have done for businesses around the world. So if you want to get started right away, just click the button below. But let me tell you a few things about what you'll see when you get inside. First, you're going to go through a wizard process to add the roles and topics and subjects for your company. It's just a simple getting started process to take your business out of your brain. Once you get inside, you'll see a checklist of some of the things we recommend to get you started off on the right foot. Also, look out for an email from us that has a lot of helpful tools, articles, resources, and things we've put together over the years that shows you how to be successful quickly in the system. If you have any questions along the way, just email us, support at trainual.com. We're here to help you get started. Thanks again for being a part of this, and I can't wait to see how Trainual helps scale your business. Great, so that was a great introduction by Chris Ronzio, the founder and CEO of Trainio. And joining in the software asks us what are we trying to use it for? And it's kind of getting a better idea of what are the potential use cases. And the interesting thing that happened is as soon as I kind of went through this prompt, I got a, a call from Trainio, um, customer success manager, to kind of make sure that we're getting the most out of this and give me some first steps. I missed that call and I'll actually add that in this video later on for you guys to view that. So um, in this case, um, I'm just kind of put some default information in here. I'm grabbing our logo for work after work and kind of just play around with the branding, kind of see how we can customize it for our organization. And you can actually change the accent color. So in this case, I left it the default trainio purple and now I'm in. So one thing I thought was really great about the software and I think it's probably best practice is that um, it has these little pop-ups that kind of guide you through what do all the buttons and bells and whistles do so that you're not overwhelmed with too much information when you just hop into a new software. So in this case, um, on the bottom, we're gonna, I'm just going to follow the prompt and kind of go through the getting started process. In this case, there's actually a trainio that goes over the basics so you get a better idea of how the system works. So you can kind of very quickly get the value out of Trainio. So in this case, um, I went through and kind of starting from the beginning, looking at purpose and targets and kind of playing around with the feature of uh, how does someone actually interact with Trainio. So uh, went through, read this text, and one thing I neglected to do initially was go back and actually mark as complete. So I'm gonna do this right now. And um, as I complete different Trainios, you see my progression increases from 33% to 100%. And one thing that's really cool about this is that you're able to add GIFs as well as YouTube videos, links, all sorts of things, which um, which is really cool because I guess we're able to digest more information as people through video um, as well as kind of just sometimes even humor than just reading block at a block of text. And you, so just going through this software and gain a better idea of what are the different levels, which is subjects, topics, and steps. And um, basically, you, this is kind of the the methodology you use when using Trainual to kind of organize your stuff, and <clears throat> and shows you how you actually want to complete the steps. Um, gives you best practices on the length of content and how to make it more interesting. But it's, it's all up to you. It's like really what works best for your organization, and even kind of allows you to customize the terms, which we'll see coming up shortly. So in this case, instead of calling it subject, topic, and step, you can call it course unit activity, as in this case. And this is another example of how to actually using GIFs to kind of communicate 
how to use Trainio. So in terms of Trainio and how to use Trainio. So marketing is complete, kind of going through and is going over the testing structure. So um, you can actually set what is the minimum passing score, go and have the question order where do you want to have randomized questions. So in this case, start setting up a total of 15 questions and they randomize 10 questions. So in the case, if you fail the first time, it'll actually give you a new set of questions by random. So you're better able to keep you from gaming the system. This case is going with different user permissions, general creator, admin, and billing admin. Um, billing admin is the initial account opener. They have all the, the, they had the money back and they're going out. Admin allows people, you can do everything a billing admin can do, but deal with the money. General user, of course, they just a user of it and the creator is someone who's empowered to create these training hills on behalf of your organization. And in this case, um, talking about customer um, communication notifications. So of course you can send notifications for email when people complete something or even like the, the content owners so they know that this person's been trained, they're ready to go, um, let's get started. And, and it's just kind of showing that functionality as well as how you can actually search for content. So you, if you go to the top, there's a, 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 a little search thing. You can actually go in there and search for content. So if you're trying to figure out what is something related to um, our fridge policy, you just type in fridge, it sends you straight to the training. Whether you've actually looked at the information in the past or something you haven't reached, it's a good way to kind of make sure you know is there training you out there for it? And if not, you can actually go ahead and create one. And within um, what Quigley grants over was the forum where people can add add questions. So in the case of do we have a fridge policy, you can put that in the forum, so on top of that. And here they're talking about the library function, which houses all the trainials for all your tasks. So and <clears throat> so now we've kind of, here's a little recap of what we kind of went over, which is a complete overview of the basics of Trainial, and right now, past it. So kind of going forward, once you mark complete and roll into the next Trainial, which is on the topic of creating content. To those of you who made it this far, thank you, and stay tuned, because we'll be continuing our deep dive into Trainial. And if you enjoyed the content so far, or have any suggestions how we can improve, or you want us to investigate something else, Leave us a comment below, subscribe, reach out to us on Instagram, and until then, check out this content from the Customer Success Manager at Trainual. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm your Customer Success Manager at Trainual. I just noticed that you signed up for a trial and just wanted to leave a quick voicemail to say hello and thank you so much. If you'd like to book a kickoff session to dive into your account, discuss any questions or best practices, visit trainual.com slash setup or shoot me an email, support at trainual.com. Thanks again. I look forward to having you on board.